Yes, good afternoon, Dan. Hope you are well. Could be a close game, this one. Cristo Reyes burst onto the scene a couple of years ago in the World Championships, and um, since then has been doing exceedingly well. Mark Borelli, a lot of people don't know about this man, but I can assure you he can throw some darts. Very quick thrower. And with the quick throwers, especially when they've just come into the game, sometimes they mess up on the doubles. And uh, the amount of times I've watched Mark, he scores extremely well. But again, like we see in, in the previous game with John Michael, missing those doubles at crucial times. First leg mark to throw first. Game on. Well, Mark Borelli has the advantage of throwing first in this opening leg. As always on the European Tour, it's a race to six. 96. Some wag in the crowd suggested during the walk-ons. Is Mark Borelli dressed for playing snooker? Can't see what he means. Certainly not the vibrant dark shirt that Christo Reyes is sporting. 60. Yes, and he doesn't hang about, not only throwing his darts, when he's nearly running up to the board there to get his darts out. Reyes, a little bit slower, but uh, keep his own pace. 93. Eighty-five. Real flick with, uh, it, it almost looks with Barilli's action that he stops short rather than having a full follow-through. And it, it's, you wouldn't teach anybody to throw like that, but... No, he's, uh, <laughs> his wrist is overworking. <laughs> There's no easy way of saying that. <laughs> there is an extension there. It's, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it is mo most of the time, but every now and again, the, the forearm is stopping short of, mm. of, of full extension, and that's when the wrist is going to have to overwork to try and get the extra pace in the dark. Oh, hang on. Ooh. 140. Reyes. Well... He didn't need to go for the bullseye there, but Christo not nice shy five. about that sort of thing. Well, he's, he's left a, 30. a wrong and of a double here, so really may get a chance of coming back for the 105. No, he's split it. 14, double eight, now double four. Game charge in the first And that will do nicely Christo for Reyes. Christo Reyes. Takes out Second 30 Christo on double four. First. Game on. 15 data to break. Yeah, Christo Reyes had that. You mentioned him bursting onto the scene, and he had that incredible run to the last 16 of the World Championship a couple of years ago. Since then, he just doesn't seem to have kicked on. He keeps making the last 16 of tournaments. He'll win one or two games, and then it just stops. He can't seem to get over that next hurdle. And the last 16 is the furthest he's gone in any PDC ranking tournament. So he, he just feels like there's a bit of a barrier or a ceiling that he's reached that he's got to burst through to take that next step in his career. Well, that's exactly what he's got to do, Dan. Uh, once he gets over that, then it'll probably be easier. Or perhaps, you know, some players, that is their level in the game. I mean, let's be honest, when you start playing the last 16 of any tournament, you're playing the people that have played two or three games themselves, and they're on a run, and they're players that are very experienced and, and top performers. Hmm. So, um, you know, he's getting up to the next rung, rung on the ladder. But he's a man in, in the short time with the PDC. He's at 2-9 darters. We know what he's capable of. He can go up there and throw 100 average over these shorter formats. So you would think that he has the raw ingredients to go on. and 59. Okay, so he's going to be making final and semi-final week after week after week. But at least be a threat in tournaments here and there. As, you know, John Henderson made the final of this last year. 97. Oh, there's no question that he'll, he'll turn up one day... It, and he'll hurt plenty of players, and, and every now and again he will find himself in a quarter-final and then on the verge of getting to semis. But the longer it goes on that you don't do that, the harder it actually gets. It's like, you know, winning your first tournament. Uh, bullseye now for Borelli, and he finds the bullseye. Reyes missed the, the 170 in the first leg, but Borelli's taking the 1-2-1 one, one out to get the throw back. And a nice tidy 15-dart leg. Yeah, good start to this one. Couple of 15 darters to Frank. See, both of those last two, the first dart from Burley there was absolutely perfect. Good extension from the forearm and the wrist. But the darts two and three were very short. 57. 
Yeah, consistency is not a watchword with Mark, really. He throws in slightly 100. different ways. He'll speed up and slow down in the course of a game how quickly he's throwing. And in terms of his results, it hasn't been consistent. Recently, he made a, a last 16 um, in one of the uh, ranking events, a play, first players' championship in Barnsley. And he beat Chizzy, beat Kyle Anderson. Good results there. But you know, it's only the third time he's made the last Whoa! 16 as Cristo Reyes fires in the first maximum. 128. Not a bad response from Verrilli. Reyes has to follow it up. That was a great response from Borelli. Because now Reyes, if he doesn't, well, even if he finds a treble now, he's only just on level 45. dance with Borelli. So he comes down, if he hits a 19, he's got to go back up to leave the 130. Well, he, he got lucky there mm. um, on hitting the treble. Normally, well, most players would have gone back up to leave the 130, which gives you one dart, you know, one treble to have a dart at the bullseye. 59, Mark Rikwan, 93. 61. Well, it's another big check out. He came close to the 170 in the first 60. leg. But really took out the 121 in the last leg. Can Christo Reyes take out the 160? Well, he might. Oh, that's sitting perfect. <laughs> oh, Christo Reyes! Oh, oh, what a start to this one we've had! 170 missed on the ball, 121 on the bullseye, and then 160 from the Spaniards. Game on. Well, you have to say this afternoon may not be the top players, Premier League players, but certainly. 97. They're throwing some darts. Plenty of 180s to get the crowd going, and 160 check out. 100. Good throw as well, Reyes has got. You know, it has proven. And the response from Barilli. We've got a game on here. Did you see the little nod after he hit the first treble? Mm. There was a little nod there as if to say, yeah, well, I can hit him as well. Great leg of darts, this is Barilli. Ooh, a little bit unfortunate to see that second dart. So you're quiet. Creep into the treble one. And again, he races to the board to get his darts out. Christo Reyes looking at 84. And Barilli back on 1 3 8 in the kind of finishing we've been seeing so far in this match. Ooh, rule him out of taking it if he comes back to the board. But Reyes Angel takes out the 84 the for a 12 Rose darter. Rose and he gets a 3 1 lead. Rose. Yes, and a few people will. will be asking the question why does Reyes go for the 25 on 84 well, that guarantees him a dart and a double instead of a dart of the bullseye admittedly it's a treble 20 he's got two darts double as well but he's planned a percentage on that 84 there's quite a few players that use that route now 60 and there you see overall averages 100 plays 98 strong stuff from these two and 41 it's the finishing that has been so impressive in this one 121 116 at 84 there from Reyes very impressive start to this as they fight it out for a place in the second round to face Brendan Dolan 97 and you have to say the way Brendan Dolan has been playing of late they would fancy their chances 140 just the 140 as the German crowd thought they had another maximum to Celebrate. Well, the crowd certainly seem in a holiday mood. Dan. 100. Have you, have, you, have you brought my Easter egg yet, by the way? Uh, not as yet. Don't oh. worry. I've still got time to nip over the shop and get you some. Well, that's right. what I thought. 100. I'd it now because if I'd mentioned it tomorrow, it'd been too late. Yeah, so. I, I know. I know. And I'm all for his drinks at Easter. I. I I never had any doubt in my mind. 140. As Reyes fires in a 140 to pressure this 80 for Barilli. He's gone tops, tops and missed the board. That's and that one doesn't find the double. And no. that is dodgy. No, that, that is not playing percentages. No, that's not playing percentages. 
And you can see him shaking his head. If Reyes takes this out, then that will be a cruel blow. And he wants double 16 on the way. So he's going to come back. Oh, good marker for him, surely. Yeah. Uh, Mark Barilli has dodged a bit of a bullet there. There's Christo Reyes. Had he hit that double 16 for the 104 and gone 4 1 up, you would think with the way he's playing, he's averaging over 101, you would think that might be curtains for Mark Barilli. But as it is, he's right in this game, just a break behind. We do, we do see quite a few, especially the top players. Wade loves going double top, so does Gary mm. Anderson. The only problem with that, Dan, if you go for that double top and you, you don't want to over pitch it, so you under pitch it, it falls low. You've still now got to find another big 20 that's going to cover that double top up anyway. So now you've got two darts in the board. It's, well, it's all right if you're Phil Taylor and he darts live flat on Barney. Exactly. You can use it as a little shelf to stick the other ones on. Yes. But if they stand up, you do end up making it difficult for yourself well, if, covered, you're, if you're under. Cover 50% of that double top up. Where if you go for the treble with your first dart, it's low enough that it, it, if you miss, if it hits the big 20, it's still not going to cover the first dart's not going to cover the double top. Mm. So it's not really a route that I would uh, teach any of the youngsters coming through. 140. However, it looks great when it comes off. You see, I'm all about showboating. I say go for it. But then again, I'm not somebody who's playing for thousands of pounds on the telly. And Mark Barilli is. That's his second maximum of the match. Four in total between these two. And it gets him down to a finish of 150 as he looks to get the break back that he needs. And Christo needs to find a treble. He's got to move to the side, see if he can come 60. over the top, which he does, I'll but he comes too high. So Mark Barilli, 150, not going to go. Can he put a dent in it? Oh, oh. no, that's a bad dart. Needs to come down. Well, Easy again, <clears throat> should have come down to the 19th, so but uh, got away with it 16. with the treble 20. Now, this is a, a checkout that all the players like. Like the 120, you've got two darts at the treble 20, and he needs the one. Will he go 20? He's gone 20, double 18. For a 4 2 lead, double 18. It is. is a sick leg. A 160. A 116. An 84. To throw yeah. first. It's been very, Game very on. impressive. He nearly had the 170 in the opening leg as well. So Christo Reyes is punishing Mark Barilli when he's getting an opportunity to. The only one that he missed was that double 16 for the 104. And had he done that, he'd almost have this done and dusted by now. Yeah, over the 100 average still. Well, there we have that. That's a tidy set of figures. Three. three 15s and a 12 for Reyes, and a 15 and a 17 for Borelli. And none of those legs have been won 100. by 200-odd points. The opponent's been there or thereabouts. So they've been under pressure when these finishes have been fired in. Good standard of darts here at the German Darts Masters in this one. Well, the, those averages just prove that all the heavy scoring is being done in the back end of the legs and that's with Christopher Reyes Easy. with the high checkouts. Mm. He's not wasting any darts or not too many darts when uh, closing legs out. And there we have it. 160 and a 116 and, and a plus an 84 from Reyes which is just as important as that 160 I can assure you. Mm. And the 121 16. on the ball tie from Borelli. Yeah, nothing wrong with that although that 67 is kind of 67% wow. of Borelli doesn't tell the whole story of his attempted 80 checkout with two double tops, but let's just forget about that. Was he, won the leg. he won the leg, so nice if he had lost the leg, I'll then we could have, could have perhaps said of him a few more things. 44. Mm. Well, that probably won't hurt him. Well, a 140. 100. The time was not enough for 140 to put the pressure on. Double 10. Oh, now then. 72. So you're going now Christo Reyes will be thinking it's exactly what he's thinking as well. Well, if I don't take it out, just make sure I set it up. Because Borelli is going to be wasting one dart to just leave the double. And the double two, the way Borelli's dart sit, is not the greatest of doubles. It's not going to be another monster checkout just no, yet, but he's Margo got the Guam treble line. that applies the pressure, and he's bust his score. score. What's that, a third There's time a today we've seen somebody bust their score going for a finish, and that, it's, I mean, there's no other way for his cares. You can see Mark is devastated over it. 
it is the trouble is big numbers they don't take enough time over them Christo Reyes did, the and Christo Reyes has punished Mark Reyes. Barilli. They flick Christo to throw first. Game on. The problem is you, you, you walk to the hockey and you just think, oh, I can't miss that big number. So you don't really concentrate like you should have. Oh, 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 no, no, Christo Reyes has gone off with a maximum. 50. Yeah, you get the feeling there was already... Not really, he was already skipping ahead to, I've just got to hit that double. And unfortunately, he didn't get a dart at it because he managed to hit the 20 instead of the big one. 59. Well, it started when he went inside of the, the, the double 10 a long way off and then miles away from the double five. 43. And I said at the beginning of the match, the one thing that lets Mark Burley down is his checkouts. He's got a good scoring game. 94. Well, two thirds of the way through this match, Mark Barilli has averaging in the high 90s, near 100, but it's fallen away over the last couple of legs as he's gifted Christo Reyes a path to victory. And Reyes is jumping all over it here, just needs to. Oh, wow, well, that doesn't help him. Oh, oh. 28. Mm may not matter if we really fail to find the trap well you might follow it to something similar 30 <laughs> oh, words well so you with all the heavy scoring back to back and <laughs> we've had bad scoring back to back at a time when both players well mark Borelli didn't do anything to pressure crystal rays 35 so we'll stay up on the well yeah that's sense 60. he's come down that leaves the 80 guaranteed a dial at the double instead of the dial at the bullseye Tops, tops. Go on, tops, no. tops. 97. Absolutely. Oh, Why not? Tops, one. tops. Guarantee you one. Just to rub it in your opponent's face. Treble 20, double 10. Oh, well, fair enough. Cristo Reyes, double five. 75. Two match darts. Oh, here it was, 140. Oh, in a game of ridiculously big finishes, Mark Barilli fails to pull off the 140. The wood so have given him five. away back into this one. Christo Reyes now looks to close it out for another 6-2 win here at the German Dance Masters. And it's three on the spin as Reyes goes through to round two. The Spaniard, pretty impressive, stumbling over line in the end, in the eighth leg. But an average of 94-95 and hitting 50% of his doubles. With those monsters of 160. 116, the 84 very good as well, and he narrowly missed out on 104 Christo, check out. Christo, Christo Reyes is through to the second we round. Need to sign. We need you to sign I'm afraid to he's going to have to do some sort of Vielen interview, Dank. I think, or at least sign the board. The action continues Reyes. here in Munich, and it's Jeffrey de Graaf, like a PDC newcomer.